Sessions with Eloquence on Slim Swayze Radio. Welcome to Sessions Radio. This is your host, Eloquence. It's a spontaneous episode, number one. It's been a little while. I specifically wanted to do this show for Slim Swayze tonight. I want to give him a shout out, slimswayze.com. Representing Canada, representing hip hop. He's got his own show. Got his own site, he's doing his thing. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't fall through, you know what I'm saying? Slim, Slim has been showing support since day one, you know what I mean? Copped a couple albums off my site, hit me up. Did a couple interviews. Some time went by, you know, talking, everything else, and... Next thing you know, I'm doing some radio shows, taking a a little hiatus from that in the last few months, but been itching to get back into it. Um, You know, everything, everything's crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing new about that. Um, But I really, I really had to get a sessions in because... Man, I don't even know where to start. Where to start, man. Whew. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. People are... People are stressing out there. People are, like, bugging. Bugging out. Not acting like themselves. I don't know what's going on, but... I'd like to see people people get their shit in line man uh, you know what i'm saying this is this is a real deal you know it's 2012 grown up all grown up now you know what i'm saying and there's so much so much stuff that goes on every day that i see and really what makes me angry is is the ignorance the arrogance you know, the people buying garbage, they don't care they're buying garbage, they're buying garbage. The people selling garbage are like, we're making millions, we're making billions, we're selling garbage, but they're buying it. Fuck them. see a lot of that, a lot of that going on. Uh, I don't think there really is such a thing as honest business these days. You know, I, I say that, but of course there's got to be a few, I mean, shit. But, I mean, it's like everything, everything that goes on out there, you know. News, television, media, all these things all around every day. I don't even have TV or cable anymore. Can't watch that. Can't watch that. I don't support none of that shit. It's like, it's like putting genetically modified food in your body. You're putting conscious modified programming into your mind watching television listening to this this mu- this these sounds they call music you got and I don't I'm not even going to get in the like trying to name all the names of everything and all that right now but it's easy enough to say that there's a few corporations I say few let's say on the whole earth like 
three to five hundred corporations pretty much run this joint. Whole thing, top to bottom. Something you do every day. A few hundred corporations got that to you, whatever it is. You're buying gasoline, what, you bought a car? You bought a magazine, you bought a newspaper. You check out a website, what'd you check out? Facebook, CNN, Yahoo, AOL, Fox. Uh, you know, it's, it's out of control. It's out of control. And I just, I see people eating it up. People either eating it up, all done with it, all together, not even messing with it. Or people are like, just losing it. It's not much of a balance that's going on right now. Everything's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't even know, man. I... I don't even know how to describe it. Everybody's already been saying it for so long. And now it's like... It's like right out there in front of everybody. And now everybody's like... like It's like everyone's just freezing up. Like, what are we going to do now? Everyone's looking around. There's a few people looking around wondering, like... What are we going to do now? What, what's going on out there? You know, what's really going on? The internet... It's crazy. You're listening to this right now. And uh, I've been called crazy more than once. Probably will be again. But hey, people will call you whatever they want. People can, can continue saying whatever they want. I mean, that's their right. I'm just saying. You want to talk shit. End up living in your own shit got a plate full of shit it's all I see is shit <laughs> everywhere maybe it's just me maybe it's just my outlook I, I've been working on that people have been talking about that I'm working on that uh, it's tough it's tough uh, you know what am I gonna do walk away from everything cause I don't think that's gonna really make a difference or it might make a difference but not necessarily towards improvement could be could be anything everything's what you make it day to day you know what I'm saying you just you keep going doesn't matter you got ups and downs good days you got bad days a lot of days, a lot of days going on, a lot of haze, (laughs) a lot of confusion, see a lot of confusion in the world, I see like people are surprised, you know, you hold the door open for somebody, you, you might even ask them if they need a hand and they're looking at you, like they're mad, hey, how you doing today, can I help you, can I help, oh, you need a hand with that? Yo, what are you looking at? Yo, I wasn't wasn't trying to talk to you. Mind your business. Everybody's like... Everybody's a hater. Everybody's a hater. Haters are fun, though. You know? Just give them enough rope. And then they hang themselves, but it, it's kind of sad after a while, you know, you get, it gets old, you like, people just come with it, same old bullshit, you know, you got something to say, people don't want to hear that, it gets quiet real quick, or people are mad, defensive, they got mad, they get mad at you, like, like you set up, you set up this whole, this whole thing. I didn't set this up. When I was a little kid, I was I was like asking questions, reading the newspaper, like at eight. Like, yo, what what is this? Parents are like, what? What are you talking about?